and good morning everyone welcome back to another video i clearly thought i was feeling very professional this morning tell me why i've got a tripod i actually i don't know i don't know it is friday we're off to dance college got two lessons this morning we'll explain the day as we go through it but oh my god i literally just did that all in 20 minutes i'm <laughs> massive rough but like i was saying huge rush this morning so i've taken my breakfast smoothie on the go this is a new thing to me and i'm absolutely loving it i am normally such an eater but like find my breakfast at the moment i mean it's been perfect because it's literally been so so hectic so crazy so cheers babe Ballet was done. I don't know why I have these on. I've just put them on because I've basically, well, ballet and contemporary have done. So we've done 8.45 ballet, quarter past 10, contemporary. We had for the last half an hour, we had students come in like from, I think they were GCSE dance students. So it's now 12 o'clock. Um, I've got like a rehearsal space in the studio for like an hour just to work through some things dissertation wise. And then I've got like maybe I think an hour or two lunchtime. Which again, I'm going to do dissertation work, but library dissertation work. And then I've got a costume fitting. Normally on a Fridays, we do finish at 12 o'clock. Um, which is absolutely lovely because like the other day is like 5 30 6 30 but on a friday we do finish at 12 which is really nice but with this costume fitting i've got to like stay in for longer rather than going back and forth home and whatnot so i've got that and then i'll be home hopefully i think i'll be home by like four which is very very exciting and so again now i'm just working things out for my dissertation basically you're probably thinking dance college dissertation the way that our uni well dance college uni whatever you want to call it is set up is that we do get a degree so we have to do a dissertation like i'm um, basically you can either do a fully written fully practical or mixed mode i'm doing fully practical because i really wanted to do written but i just don't think my literacy skills are that great like i'm really bad at referencing i'm really bad i used to be great at english like i took it as an a level loved it Mm -mm, not anymore i don't know what happened i definitely like kind of like lost lost the uh, rhythm of it so i am doing a fully practical you got a choice between an installation a choreography film documentary type thing so i'm doing a dance film um so that's what i'm working towards now getting the choreography for it i've got my dancer and yeah there's a lot of research that you have to have to do behind it because it might sound really stupid to say i've got a lot of research to do but what the way that like contemporary and like when you do it as a degree kind of work is that you have to show the whole research process and it literally it's so weird you've got to read books to choreograph that's contemporary for you gives me a good education i can tell you my problems meditating my silence but i keep pushing my pen rotating my stylus brokenness feeling like seeing now no creflo dollar used to be left on red now all the girls go holler now all the girls go follow all the fake friends gonna pile up i need peace to borrow get that shit right back tomorrow somehow all the fans go bravo smile so much to hide my sorrows faith this shaky in verado Lunch. We've got mini shredders, slice, baby apple, kiwi. Oh, I haven't got a spoon. I need to go get a spoon. But I've got strawberry. Well, a raspberry. I've got, I think I've got a strawberry. These are so good. I'll show you in a minute. They've got like a um, chocolate, like hazelnut filling. They're like these little biscuit things. Really good. And then I've got Philadelphia and ham in my sandwich. The fillings are lacking, but it was all we had in the fridge. So I don't know. Rate my lunchbox, but I always think it's such like a kid's lunchbox. But I absolutely love it. The lighting's really dark right now. But also, I would like to say, just a quick disclaimer, I don't normally eat lunch by myself. I feel like an absolute little sado right now. Yeah, I was saying I feel like an absolute little sado eating lunch right now, but everyone has literally gone home because no one has a costume fitting at three, like me. So I don't know why it's me. Everyone's gone home for the weekend and I'm stuck. Dance. Eating my sandwiches by myself. Love that. Name a better duo. So why do we do this dance? Are we moving too slow? Cause you need reassurance Don't conflate issues Why you always jump to? Oh, she's looking a little greasy. Um, library session done. Happy that I've got that done. Print out some vintage labels as well so I can hopefully do that this evening. Check out the vintage. Vintage's got a lot on going on at the moment so I'm gonna try and get all those posted this evening as well just that it's done for the week. I know, yeah, I've got like 10 minutes until my fitting just waiting outside the design studio. Yeah, I felt like that was a productive like two hours editing, dissertation. 
good things off the checklist. Cool it is. Is it gonna focus? Hello. Oh, your eye is not looking good, Jed. It's not even looking bad, eh? It's looking a bit yellow, you know. Yeah, sure? it's like greeny bruise, isn't it? Oh, Jed got beaten up last night. Yeah, but it's scraps. <laughs> no, it was just boxing. But Jed's so bad that he gets hit in the face. Yeah, pretty much we get beaten up. <laughs> nah, joking. You should have seen the other guy in it, babe. Yeah. Anyways though, just got off the DLR to meet this oh guy. Gosh. I've had yeah. I've had my costume fitting. For some reason it's jeans and some kind of top. Let's go now. Jeans for a dance piece though. Like I can't dance in jeans. But the first pair of jeans would go up a bump. Sure. So then they had to give me an elasticated she got waist. A big bump. They had to give me an elasticated waist one. Right. And they're humongous. Nice. But that's fine. Why do you look like an elf right now? You need to stop doing that oh. with those. <laughs> Anyways, I've met Jed in Tesco because he was like, meet me in Tesco, I want to go food shopping. So apparently we're now going food shopping. It's not like I wanted to go home at all, but I'm actually shattered. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to record me shopping. <laughs> oh. oh my God. I really had this plan of being really like motivated when I got home and like do loads of tasks. As soon as I hit that sofa, hey, I don't know. Friday. I don't know how much we're gonna get done. Oh bloody hell, give me an hour to recover. No, thank you, honey. Not gonna lie, I have just been chilling around for the past. Excuse me. I had a coffee, had some lemon water, you know, chilling out. But I went down and got a load of parcels, so let's see what we got. This looks like I've ordered it, but I don't know what it what it is because exactly. Oh, I did order this. That's really weird. So I ordered something from Amazon, but it's coming in every parcel. I literally just got me and just some new towels. Nice. So the parcel from Bondi Sands. Absolutely favourite. I'm actually thinking about doing a... Did I order that? No. Did I? No, I, oh, no, I didn't. Wait, did I? No, I haven't. I haven't. Basically, like I was saying, I really want to do like a January favourites, and there's actually so many products from Bondi Sands in there. Like, oh, I'm going to save it because I will literally probably speak for it ever about like the products that I found but just wow so they have sent me their light and dreamy lightweight gel moisturizer and then their day cream which is their whipped moisturizer they do do very good moisturizers and then I've got two different drops here oh this is interesting I haven't seen these before oh that's smart okay so I've got the self tan drops in light to medium and then I've got the self tan drops in dark I these are new because I feel like I haven't seen these before I'm guessing you add the drops to the moisturizer Am I smart or am I smart? There isn't like a note or anything in there. So the fact that I've just figured that out, she's a genius, she's not. She's a very basic thing to do, but what have we got here? JD. Okay, I definitely haven't ordered anything from JD. I'm thinking that this might be for ad work, if I can find how to get into the bar. I'm working with JD quite a lot at the moment, which I'm really enjoying, like working with Adidas and really cool brands like that. But I haven't, basically, when you work for like brands, you send off selects, which is basically like selects from either a brief that they've given you of like choices, or you go onto the website and pick selects that you kind of want to make the ad around, unless they've got kind of like, this is a shoe campaign, do you want to do it or not, whether like you like it or not. But I haven't done my selects for this month because I'm like a three month, is it three months period with them? So I don't know what this could be, you know? Love this colour. Love this colour. Okay, those are really cute. They're really sweet. These are from Pink Soda, if anyone's interested. I feel like they'll be great for dance. Over leotards. And then we've got the matching sports bra. I really, really love this colour. I actually haven't had anything from Pink Soda before, but it feels like really good quality. And lastly, we've got the matching leggings. Oh, no, shorts. Even better. Love a short. Oh, these are so cute. They've got pockets. I love the pockets. And then we've got a box from New Balance. What are these going to be? Stop it. I love them. So these are like the silver, navy and white ones I have. The only thing is though, as I've just noticed on the box, they're five and a half. What size my babe? Five. Four and a half. <laughs> God, how do you not know my shoe size? Oh, please say these fit me, because to be fair, I'll just, we'll just have to message them and swap them for a different size. But, oh my God, these are stunning, and I can see what they were envisioning. Stop it. Oh my God, this is gonna look so cute together. Do, will, are oh, these gonna fit me? Oh. No, they are a little big. They're not too big though. It's kind of like, you know, when your mum says, oh no, get the size up, because you'll go into them, honey. Cause like my toe is here. There's like half a centimeter off. Hmm. Anyways, so obsessed with those. I actually haven't seen this colorway either. So, I mean, thanks babe. Thanks JD, love ya. Okay, and then we've got Zara Home. I they had a sale on and let me some Zara Home. I really wanted like a cute dish, dish, tray type situation for the bathroom. Okay, so 
I got my hands on them. So I absolutely love candles, re-diffusers, that kind of jazz. This was on sale, but oh my god, jazz, smell that. Holy sh! Sorry, language. That's probably the best smell in the world. I feel like I should order more. Yeah. Because I think I think good. they're Christmas edition, but they're on sale right now. Not the same in that bad boy. <laughs> Oh my. Smells so good. I like that it comes in a little box. That's so uh, cute. What's the time, babe? Half six. I don't, I don't, I'm not normally like this. I don't really know what's coming over me, but I feel like I need to do a million things right now. But I'm equally like, it's also Friday, chill. But I'm getting agitated by like not Why don't not we have chilling. an our takeaway? I don't want one tonight. Do you want one tonight? He wants one tonight. I, no. I'm, I just, I, I'm really loving eating good food. Like okay, I was on the phone. Yeah, it's fine. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on the phone to my dad earlier and I was actually saying like, cause my dad, he, he kind of going, he was egging us on massively. And he was like, oh, like well done, like eating really well, like well done, blah, blah, blah. His dad was talking to Jen about his boxing, yada, yada. But then he was like, but, but don't eat good all the time. And I was like, what are you mean by? He's like, no, 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 eat good in the week. And then he like, <laughs> the weekend. And I was like, thank you for that, Gareth. Thank you, but it's, <laughs> Not how we're trying to work, we're trying to fuel our bodies, but honestly, like the difference that I find in like eating good food and like eating all the right nutrients and getting all of the. But I don't want a bad takeaway anyway, I just want to take off. <laughs> Still on about it. Just like having like a good balanced diet perform so much better as you would, but like, I don't know. As like from a perspective of a uni student, when you move away from home, you kind of think like, oh my god, like amazing, I can eat whatever I want. And I think that's kind of what we fell into as well in terms of like, you just get excited that like, I don't know, you can eat your own foods, whatever. Like, especially in my household, mum would literally like cook a meal for us every night, which obviously I'd be re like really thankful for, but sometimes it'd be things like lasagna. Me and Judge do not like lasagna. I do not like lasagna. No, sir. So like when you move away, you think, oh my god, like I can, I can eat all this, like all this crap, but it just really doesn't hit the same for me anymore. So, do you know? Loving, loving the life. Again, losing the plot. Just realised though, I was actually talking about the tray and I didn't even get it out of the box. So yeah, this is not, oh my God, this is stunning. So this is gonna go in the bathroom just to put like a few like candles and a few products on just to make it look a little bit nicer. Literally just like a marble tray. I just thought that this was so nice. To be fair, not gonna lie, Molly May did influence me. She has like a circular one, but I just kind of really like the shape of this and the way that it's gonna fit in the bathroom. I'll show you later if I end up like, well, putting it in there and putting things on it. I don't know, I just thought it would just sit really nicely, slot in. Just take Molly May inspired. Thank you, Fairjed. Oh, okay. should we take her inspiration one step further? Why? Oh, no. <laughs> what do you think I meant? Married. No, she's yeah. not married. What is she? Baby. Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> Present to you one of the world most, well, I feel like it looks random, but it's not random because it's basically just like a burger, but I just really didn't fancy bread this evening. So I've gone with lettuce, cucumbers, chips. I've also cooked myself so much halloumi. So this is my dinner for this evening. Looks weird, judge it as you will, but I'm actually so excited to tuck into this. Guys, our dinner was something else. It was so good. It was just like loads of my favorite thing in a completely random ball. Shh. Sorry, I just thought it'd be funny. <laughs> Thanks up, babe. In a completely random bowl, but I have literally just got into my pajamas. Again, clearly feeling very random today, but I need to wash my face because I am one big grease ball. But yeah, it's like eight o'clock, but I'm just gonna finish this little like daily vlog off here just because me and Jad are literally watching Team Wolf for the rest of the night. Like there is nothing interesting going on here. Obviously I plan to kind of like get bits and bobs done, but I am just wiped out, completely wiped out. I think it's kind of like a week type thing. Like the week's gone by, it's now Friday. I'm like, bloody hell, I can like chill, breathe. So that is the plan i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to comment subscribe like down below yeah i really do hope you enjoyed this video because obviously like it was a bit it was like very realistic to what like my days normally are monday to friday and obviously like i've shared bits with you i edited a little bit of the video earlier and i've never really kind of like shared to like this extent level type thing with you guys so i do hope you enjoy it okay i'm gonna stop talking now and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>